hello people welcome back to my youtube channel if this is actually your first time of visiting my channel kindly subscribe and click on the notification button so that you'll be getting the latest gist hello my people the kind story where we get this morning now one kind funny story we happen for uh, anambra state this kind story we never see them before they say man may been buried alive don't uh, resurface again no. According to the story we get from a, a Daily Post, a news site, they said a kinsman of the Minister of Labor and Employment in Nigeria, whose name is Dr. Chris Ngige, and the name of the person, uh, Mr. Olisa Ibonwa, who was rumored uh, to have been buried alive, had surfaced. Hmm. Even if Senator Jesus Christ will never know which kind of story will be this. So, and according to the news site, they say uh, Ibonwa, who is an indigenous of Alo, was said to have taken his chieftaincy title as a HJ in Ghana, a decision the community thought was not within his rights, leading to leading to a mock burial conducted on him by the elders of the community. And uh, within they'd been talking, I'd be say the victim whose name is uh, Ibunwa being taken up a uh, one chieftaincy title. And according to the elders of the community, they no dim and fit, say him suppose uh, take the chieftaincy title. So they be conduct a mock burial. For him, however, a uh, rumor will be the fly. Say Ibonga was in a casket, taken uh, taken around the community by the elders and buried in a forest. Mm. This was one uh, the kind of things that happened in the nineteen eighties. I wonder why some communities are still practicing such uh, traditions. But the Anambra State Police Command, in a press statement released on Wednesday, said that Ibonga visited the command to institute a case against the elders. Of his community, ah, how the man where they bury, where the uh, elders in the community bury, come uh, resurface again, come go police station. That means probably he resurrected like uh, Jesus Christ. Well, the man don't go fight case for police station against his community for the ill treatment they gave to him. However, the state police command spokesman, whose name is uh, DSP Tochuku Ikenga, said that the attention of Anambra State Police Command has been drawn to a trending video clip and online publication stating that one Chief Olisa Ibongwa was buried alive in Alo in Anambra State by the elders of Okebun Noyek Village, Alo Idemili South Local Government Area of Imo State. Well, my my brothers, we never know what thing happened now waiting with the real story what happened for, for the area, but investigations are still going on. Investigations are still going on. So uh, Make could drop on a comment. Tell me what you think about uh, this whole story and uh, what do you think about this tradition and what happened uh, to the man. If, if you never subscribed to my channel, just kindly click on the notification button and subscribe so that you'll be getting more information about this story and many more things happening in Nigeria.